y'all. This is my second ever Instagram Q&A video that I'm going to be doing for y'all. Um, I posted my Instagram picture two days ago um, that I would be doing another Q&A and I had a huge, huge response. Um, I've had it up for two days now and I've had over a hundred um, questions asked. So um, as same with my last one, I obviously don't get to everybody's. A hundred questions is a lot to answer in a short video. Um, so if I don't get to yours, I apologize. I'm going to be picking the ones that really stand out to me or I feel that were really, really good questions. Um, if I don't answer it, I will be doing these again in the future. Obviously, I have a huge response when I um, do them. So ask it again or um, another reason I might not answer is because it's something that I've already answered in previous videos. So make sure you watch that one. Um, make sure I haven't already answered your question if that's something that you asked. Um, I've had lots of people ask me um, what are my macros or um, stuff like that. Those are other questions that I'm not going to answer on here because it's just too time consuming and not everybody's interested in that. Um, so anyways, one of the first questions is from Barbie Builder 22 She asks, what's been your greatest obstacle in, compete in the competing process and how did you overcome it? For example, food, exercise, um, stage competitors, etc. Um, I thought this was awesome, especially um, there seems to be a huge rising in, a rise in people doing competitions lately. Um, everybody comes to me, I'm going to be doing my first bikini competition and so on. So um, I thought this would be a good one. One of my biggest struggles was probably food. I follow flexible dieting, IFYM if that's what you want to call it. Um, and even though I'm pretty free to eat whatever I want, whenever I want, I still had a lot of restrictions. Um, for example, a big greasy pizza from some local restaurant in town, I would not be able to eat that. First of all, there's no way of tracking that. Second of all, it would probably go way over on my macros. So even though I'm pretty free to eat what I want, um, I still wasn't able to go out and enjoy um, drinks with my friends or go out and grab my favorite food, a big piece of pizza or a bunch of donuts on the weekend or something like that. So that was probably a hard part, especially being a mom with kids. Um, I'd sit there and watch them eat like two donuts and I would just watch them because honestly, I don't want to waste all of my fat on one little donut for the most part. So that was probably the hard, one of the hardest. Um, another thing which was stage fright. I am not very comfortable being on stage in front of thousands of people just staring at me and critiquing me. Um, so that was something that I had to get over. My first time backstage, I like almost had a heart attack. I started freaking out when I was in line to go on stage. I was like up next and I just could not stop shaking. So it was just something I had to get over overcome. Um, but my second time went so much smoother just because I, I knew what to expect. So those are the two things um, for me. Um, what else? From Pink Teen Weight Loss 13. Do you have a pre-workout ritual before you go into the gym? Um, for me, I wake up and get the kids ready every single morning, get them fed, dressed, hair did, your teeth brushed, um, get them, you know, everything ready for them. And then I almost every single morning have my oatmeal or some type of um, carb source. I like to have carbs before I work out. I cannot work out fasted. Um, it just doesn't work for me. And then I do typically take a pre-workout. Most days that I work out, I do take a pre-workout. And it ranges. I love C4. I love Tier 1. Um, uh, Volt, the new Volt from Sports Nutrition. Um, Hyde and Jekyll, I've taken that. And I've taken it together. And that was a huge mistake because that would have me, like, bouncing off the walls. So, um, but yeah, pre-workout before I work out. Um, this one I loved from Project... Project? I think it is. <laughs> Project, yeah, okay. Anyways, <laughs> what's some of the worst advice you have personally been given when you started, started working out, I'm imagining? Um, worst advice I was ever given, um, and I was given it quite often, and it wasn't only directly from somebody I was talking to, it's all over the computer, all over social networks, everywhere, um, that you have to eat clean in order to accomplish your goals. I think that's one of the worst and misleading pieces of advice that I've been given. Um, obviously, I eat Pop-Tarts during my contest prep. That's not clean, um, and I still accomplish my goal. Um, something about on the lines of uh, you have to cut sodium, you have to cut water, you have to do an hour of cardio a day. Like 
These are all BS things that I was told or that I would read from everywhere um, that just totally aren't true. So those are probably some of the worst pieces of advice that I was given. Um, and for the most part, it's something that I actually believe because you see it so much that you just start believing it, you know, thinking that that's what you have to do um, until you do your own research and really choose to educate yourself and realize that that's not at all the truth. Um, what else? <laughs> White Avatar 35 asked, are you going to make your kids badasses like you and your husband? <laughs> Duh. Um, yeah, they already are pretty badass, if I can say so myself. Um, pretty funny. Actually, just this past week, we went to the doctor to bring my son for his sports physical. He's going to be playing football this season, flag football. He's five. Um, and the doctor, one of the things the doctor had him do was, she was like, okay, hey, go over by that wall and squat. She's like, do you know how to squat? And he looked at her like she was stupid. He was like, yeah, of course I know how to squat. <laughs> you know, he hears me talking about it, he hears my husband talking about it all the time. So he squatted down as she instructed, and she's like, oh, most kids don't know how to squat when they're five. So I thought that was pretty damn awesome. <laughs> um, anyways, what else? My Ron Ryan asked, would you rather do CrossFit or be stuck at Planet Fitness for the rest of your life? I don't know what... Everybody, why everybody has an issue with CrossFit, I honestly do not, and um, I probably would never step foot in a Planet Fitness, I just think it's, I don't know, just, you're not allowed to deadlift there, for some reason, I, I think you're not allowed to squat, I know a guy that goes to our gym that was kicked out of Planet Fitness for wearing a cutoff shirt because he was showing too much skin, um, what would they say about my little Nike combat shorts that I wear to the gym every day, you know, so I personally would never go to Planet Fitness, um, and I... I think CrossFit is awesome. I actually enjoyed watching the CrossFit games this past weekend, this past week. Um, I just think that there's a lot of margin for error in it. A lot of people go from like the couch not working out a day in their life to like doing all these crazy Olympic lifts with terrible form. So I think as long as you have somebody guiding you, um, CrossFit is great. Um, Steve Chang, 64, he asked, what's the best and fastest way to lose belly fat? A low calorie diet, daily car cardio, or weightlifting? Um, I would say all three. Um, John Blaze250 asked, Do you have any hobbies other than going to the gym? <laughs> I know all my videos are always about me going to the gym um, or grocery shopping or eating. Those are basically my hobbies. Um, going to the gym, I love being at the grocery store, I love food, cooking is fun to me. I totally love cooking. I know a lot of women do not. Um, and I'd like to say that I'm pretty good at it. So maybe that's another reason why I like it so much. Um, and I'm a mom. I'm a family person. I like to do stuff with the kids. We have a giant trampoline in our backyard. I like jumping on a trampoline. Um, I love coloring with them, going for walks with our dogs, um, all that kind of family stuff. Um, I like to shop every once in a while. Uh, what girl doesn't? Um, but when I do shop, it's kind of funny. It's almost always for athletic type clothes. Like I never wear normal clothes, hardly. Maybe once a week or something. Um, what else do I like to do? Travel. Traveling is like one of my biggest things. My dad was in the Navy, so growing up we moved every two to three years. I've lived in Japan, I've been to Thailand, Korea, um, California, East Coast, Georgia, you know. I've been all over the place. So traveling for me is huge. Um, Unfortunately, we haven't done so much with my husband's career in the Air Force. We've been in Texas for five years, um, but we've been traveling Texas, so that's always fun. Um, I like, I'm always down for a good adventure, something new. 